Hey, what is going on YouTube and welcome back to another video today. Um, we have got a video just going over some of the new Football Outsider content that came into the game. Man, I mean, there are some crazy cool cards. A lot of cards that have really, really good value. As you guys can see, the first card that I was looking up was this man, Shane Vereen. Um, as you guys know, I like to pass to my running back a ton out of the backfield. And I'm currently using CJ Spiller as my main receiving back. And at first glance, comparing this guy to CJ Spiller... I mean, CJ Spiller just looks like he's so much better. If we flip it over to the other side, yes, Shane Vereen does have 91 catching compared to CJ Spiller's 88. But Spiller also has 94 speed, um, 95 juke move. He just looks like an overall better card with better excel. Um, it's substantially better speed. But um, if you look a little bit closer into this card, look at that strength right there. That plays a very key part in breaking tackles. Um, Shane Vereen's strength is a 75 compared to a 67 for CJ Spiller. Um, and if you go down, this is where it really uh, starts to prove itself. So I just want to point this stuff out right here. Um, the juke move, spin move. I think CJ Spiller is a little bit better in terms of an actual running back. Uh, but in terms of a receiving back, Shane Vereen blows him out of the water. So look at this right here. Route running. Oh, my gosh. He destroys him on that. So um, those little, like, mini out routes that you run out of the backfield, CJ Spiller is not going to be nearly as good as Shane Vereen. Um, catching traffic, 85 to 73. Wow. I mean, that's just so much better. He's definitely a better catcher. 89 spectacular catch compared to 68 and also better stamina. So if you like to pass to your running back, a lot out of the backfield. He's going to be in there for a lot longer. If you guys want to see some gameplay with this Shane Vereen, let me know. Um, honestly, I'm probably going to pick him up. I will I won't sell CJ Spiller because I don't know how well he's going to play compared to him. I don't know if I'm going to notice the difference between the 94 90 speed when I'm using him as a receiving back. Uh, we will definitely see, but obviously Adrian Peterson is the workhorse of the team. He's going to be the guy getting the bulk of the carries along with Todd Gurley, but I like to have a good, solid, stable uh, receiving back in my team. Another new card that came out was this Julian Edelman 88 overall football outsiders card for an 88 overall. Uh, he doesn't have any crazy good stats. He's got pretty good speed uh, for a card that's normally Julian Edelman. I mean, he does not normally have this good of speed. Pretty stellar, I would say, in terms of speed. Great catching. I mean, just really, really good overall. Nice receiver. Um, doesn't have crazy good spectacular catch, but look at that. 95 catch in traffic, 94 catch. So this guy would be probably a really, really good slot receiver for those little drags um, or those deep ends or any time where you have to pass the ball and he's, I don't know, going to cash in in coverage. Uh, if you look at this stuff right here, strength is not super good. Um, 94 excel, so he's going to get to that that speed really, really quickly. If we look more into the stats, 85 jump, not not super good. Anything that stands out to us, this is my first time looking at the card. Stamina is 96. So this guy, this guy's not gonna not gonna come out of the game very much. Oh, that's kind of funny. 78th throw on the run. <laughs> well, this guy's not gonna be coming out of the game very much. 96 stamina. So definitely looks like a pretty good card. Looks like a pretty good budget card. Um, I wonder how much he's going for right now. He's going for about 55k, so I mean, if his price stays that same way, I don't know if I would pick him up for that. I think he's probably worth around 30k just because he's still somewhat short. Um, really is only used for like drags and uh, and deep ends and stuff where it's, you know, catching in traffic. But I would definitely take a look at this Julian element along with the Shane Vereen. And let's go ahead and take a look at this Jarrell Casey. All right, guys. So here we go. First thing I want to say is, wow, this card art is absolutely incredible. 91 overall right end. Um, check the stats. Let's flip it over. I mean, if you run a 3-4, this dude is incredible. 85 play rack for a defensive end is pretty darn good, especially a 3-4 defensive end. If you look at his 93 block shed, 96 power move um, with a pretty good excel at 84 uh, for somebody as slow as he is. I mean, compare him to Robert Quinn. I mean, obviously, he's not... Uh, he's way better than Robert Quinn, but I mean, wow, look at that. Robert Quinn is known to be uh, a very fast and smart player. Um, Robert Quinn's got 80 player compared to Jarrell Casey's 85, and I know Robert Quinn has better Excel at 88, but 84 Excel is pretty good for a 3-4 defensive end. The only reason I have Quinn is just because I really like him. He's not really a 3-4 defensive end, more so a 4-3. Um, but yeah, like 93 tackle, 93 block shot, 96 power move. That's all you got to know for a three four defensive end dude would be an absolute stud i'd love to pick him up um i think what is he going for like 225k i think that's a steal 
Uh, I'm not going to pick him up because at this point, uh, defensive ends really don't do much for me. Um, the ones that I have really do a good job. But, man, that's a steal. I mean, if you're looking to have, like, the best overall team you can get, this Joe Casey will be an absolute stud. Okay, guys, so that is it for the gameplay. If you guys want to see any gameplay with that Shane Vereen, definitely let me know. Um, or possibly that Julian Edelman. I can try and get both of those guys on the squad and then maybe get some gameplay with them. Maybe test them out, try them out. See if they're worth the coins. I definitely want to get some with Vereen. But definitely let me know in the comment section below. Sorry for getting this video out a little bit later. Hopefully it gets there in time. But I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.